He failed. He failed again. And again. But his next idea would change the entire world forever. Before him, cars were toys for the rich. Only the wealthy could afford to drive. Everyone else relied on horses, slow travel, long roads, a small world. He was born on a small farm in Michigan, surrounded by crops, but obsessed with machines. He hated farming. He wanted engines, noise, movement. At just 16 years old, he left home to work with machines. At night, while the world slept, he built. Not a car for the rich, a car for the people. His first company failed, then his second, then his third. Factories shut down, workers walked away, money disappeared, investors laughed, competitors doubted him. They said it would never work, but he refused to quit. In 1903, he finally launched his company. Five years later, everything changed. He introduced the Model T. It was cheap, it was reliable, and for the first time in history, millions of regular people could finally afford a car. Farmers drove farther, workers traveled freely, families explored beyond their towns. Then, he changed manufacturing forever. The moving assembly line, what once took 12 hours to build, now took just 90 minutes. Cars flooded the world, cities expanded, roads were built, jobs exploded. The world began to move faster than ever before. His obsession didn't just build a company, it built the modern world.